Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous lessons, we discussed the definition and historical background of antibiotics, history, stereochemistry and classification of beta-lactam antibiotics, and structure, nomenclature and stereochemistry of penicillins. The links are available in the description below this video. Watch them. In this lesson, we shall learn the discovery of penicillins. In 1928, Fleming made his second antibacterial discovery and that was penicillin. Most people have heard about this story about the discovery of penicillin. Fleming noticed that in one of the old petri plates left in the laboratory, colonies of the bacteria Staphylococcus, which causes skin diseases, had lysed. It was probably because of a contaminating greenish mold growing in an adjacent area of the plate. This led to the discovery of penicillin. By extracting the substance from the cultures of the mold, he was able to demonstrate its antibacterial activity not only on the plates but also in the infected mice. Fleming named this substance penicillin because it was obtained from the penicillium mold and was found to kill the bacteria. Fleming's contaminating mold was identified as belonging to the genus Penicillium, which led to the name penicillin for the substance responsible for the antibacterial activity observed on the agar plate. Fleming published his work on penicillin in 1929, reporting that extracts of the mold were able to kill a number of gram-positive pathogens in addition to the staphylococci and even the gram-negative pathogen responsible for gonorrhea. Over the next 10 years, Fleming tried to progress penicillin further but was hampered by an inability to isolate and purify it. Early attempts to use crude penicillin topically in patients were not very successful and Fleming did little further work on its clinical potential, focusing instead on its utility as a bacteriological reagent. He never tested it in a model infection in mice. Meanwhile, Ernest Chain, working as part of Howard Florey's team at Oxford, had taken on the task of isolating penicillin and solving its structure. The first results of this effort were published in 1940, and by 1945, penicillin had demonstrated its amazing curative properties in the clinic and was being produced and distributed on a large scale. For their seminal work, Florey, Chain and Fleming were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1945. It is to be noted that this chance that is a serendipitous discovery in no way diminishes the credit that goes to Fleming. In his 1945 Nobel lecture, Fleming made a statement, My only merit is that I did not neglect the observation and that I pursued the subject as a bacteriologist. All microbiologists often find contaminating molds in their plates even in modern day laboratories. Before Fleming, many other scientists probably had also seen this effect but ignored it and treated the contaminant problem as a nuisance. However, the discovery of penicillin is credited to Fleming because he recognized the importance of the phenomenon and pursued it further. It is not enough to just make an observation but to follow it up and do further research on it. There are many other scientific discoveries that are attributed to similar accidents. However, it is not just a coincidence that such accidents happen only with scientists who make great discoveries from those events. Similarly, in the history of mankind, many apples had probably fallen on many people's heads before one fell on Newton's. However, all others probably just ate the apple and may have cursed or thanked the apple tree, but it took a Newton to discover the theory of gravity from this observation. Over the ensuing years, many generations of novel penicillins have been developed with improved spectrum, pharmacokinetics and resistance to beta-lactamases. Today, they remain a very important part of the antibiotic armamentarium. This is the list of references followed for the lesson.
that's all in this lesson the discovery of penicillins in the next lesson we shall discuss the clinical uses of penicillin till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video